Hello, we're going to make a video today, and this video will demonstrate how to prepare a machine running CentOS 7 for the installation of the proprietary NVIDIA display drivers. This is one of three videos that will be in this series. The three videos will be this video we're doing now, which will show you how to prepare CentOS 7 before installing the proprietary drivers from NVIDIA. You will also see how to configure the machine to boot in the text mode. <coughs> the second video will show us how to compile the NVIDIA kernel drivers in text mode. The third video and the last video we will see, well, we will log back into the system and show that the NVIDIA kernel modules are successfully installed. In the first video, there's a couple of steps we're going to do. We're going to download the driver. Uh, we'll run the LSPCI command to see what model of video card we have. We can do that without opening the machine. Using the web browser, we'll download the driver that we need. The second step, we're going to prepare the computer for installation uh, by modifying some, uh, some files. And the, our mission is to stop the N Novo uh, open source NVIDIA driver from loading. The proprietary uh, NVIDIA driver won't load as long as Novo is running. <coughs> the third uh, thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the required software that we need uh, in order to recompile the Novo kernel video drivers uh, once we reboot into text mode. And then after following that, we're going to set the machine up so that it will reboot into text mode upon reboot. Okay, let's open a terminal and get started here. I'll hold Control Shift plus plus, make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. And do one more. There we go. Okie dokie. Now, first thing we're going to do is do a switch user to root. Okay, now we're root. Uh, now, we're going to type LSPCI, and um, down here towards the bottom, we're going to see, it says uh, VGA Compatible Controller and Video Corporation. We're running the GeForce GT 440. Okay, so let's go ahead and open a web browser and go get that driver. Okay, here we are at the NVIDIA site, um, and uh, I clicked on Drivers, GeForce Drivers, and then next page, GeForce, we're running 440, so we're running the 400 series, and more specifically, we're running the GT440, <coughs> excuse me, CentOS 7 is all 64-bit as of this date, and then we'll click Start Search. Okay came up with a couple of drivers, and the newest one's the one I'm going to go with, and that's in February 24th, 2015, is when that driver was released, and we're going to save that driver. Okay, looks like we saved it. Okay, now uh, the next thing we have to do is uh, we have to... Um, I'm going to actually make this just a little bit smaller. There we go. Next thing we have to do is we have to edit some files uh, in order to stop the Nouveau driver from loading. Let's just take a look at uh, that for a second. I'm going to type lsmod, which will show me the kernel drivers that are loaded. Okay, you see the Nouveau kernel drivers loaded. Uh, if we're successful when I type that lsmod after we reboot, we won't see uh, any of that Nouveau stuff. So first thing we're going to do is go to slash Etsy, slash default, and there's a file called grub under there. Uh, you can use um, gedit, emacs, or whatever you want. Uh, I use vi. And there's a uh, parameter called command line Linux. We're going to go to the end of that, and we're going to type in rd blacklist equals nouveau. And in Red Hat 6, that's all you had to type. I've tried it with just this, and it didn't work. So I'm pretty sure you need to type this next parameter, 
N-O-U-V-E-A-U dot mode set equals zero. Okay, and these things will then be passed into the kernel when the kernel boots. And so what we're going to do now is uh, we've made a change and we have to recompile the grub menu. So, um, so it'll be grub to dash make config mkcon config okay and then dash o for output slash boot slash grub2 slash grub dot cfg okay now after compiling um, there's another little step that isn't often mentioned I have found that when I've recompiled my grub menu it sometimes reorders what uh, what the order is in the uh, boot process and I'm going to make a separate video on this explaining things more clearly but uh, if I go to slash boot slash grub two and if I cat grub env okay you'll see it says saved entry one uh, at one point I set that to boot at saved entry one and I'll show you what that means uh, if I type cat, how about if I type um, awk, okay, there, there's a file here called grub.cfg. I'm going to run some awk against that. So awk, okay, and the file delimiter is going to be uh, a tick mark because the line that we want to look at has tick marks in it. And now the next tick mark and that this is an escape and a tick mark that makes that a text tick mark the next tick mark is enclosing some stuff that we want to run so dollar sign one which means the first field um, if it equals this value then print the second field. Let's see if this works. I'm going to run this against grub.cfg. Okay, good, that worked. Um, this shows me the order that the, um, grub, the grub menu is going to display the um, various kernels. And it starts counting at zero. So this guy at the top line is zero. The second line is the uh, one. And the third line is 2. And you'll see at the top here when I catted this file grub env, uh, it still has my saved entry of 1. And that's the second line here. And that's actually the newest kernel. And if I type uname dash a, you'll see that's actually the kernel I'm running now. Okay, so everything's good with the grub. Um, now, the next thing we need to do is go to this directory slash etc slash modprobe.d and I'm going to copy over a file and you may actually have to type this in. <coughs> um, now this file can be called anything.conf uh, c-o-n-f but uh, uh, the file that I have here was actually auto-generated by an, 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 an NVIDIA installer in Red Hat, in Red Hat 6 or CentOS 6 um, and this is used to uh, block the Nouveau video driver. This is also needed. Uh, if I do a cat on this, this is what's in that file and this is what you might have to type in your whatever.conf file. Uh, these are the lines that would have to go in there. Okay. Um, now the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the software needed to recompile the video drivers is present when you reboot into text mode. And we'll do that process now. So it's yum install and it gcc kernel dash d e v e l. Now <coughs> these probably won't load because I when I did my install I did a develop I did a desktop install and then I uh, clicked the thing for the developer's stuff. And uh, this is usually installed when you 
click the stuff for the developer stuff. So, but this is this is what you'd want to run. So it says everything's installed. Okay, that's good. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is uh, we need to make sure that the machine is set up to reboot into uh, text mode. So what's it set for now? So we'll look system CTL get dash default. Okay, right now it has a graphical target. So if the machine reboots, it would go into graphical mode, and that's no good for what we want to do. So we need to say system CTL set default multi user dot target. Now multi user target will bring it into multi user mode, but with no graphics. It's just all text mode. Okay, and let's make sure what the default is. Okay, super. And uh, once we've set that up to uh, reboot into uh, text mode, the next thing we're going to do is reboot the machine. So how we would reboot the machine is we would type reboot. Okay, and then I'm going to stop the video now before I reboot so I can save the video and uh, I'll see you on the other side of the reboot.